morning everyone this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn how to import 3d models in dialogs evo so here i have considered a simple room okay i have not added any textures or 3d models here previously in dialogs we have seen how to add furniture models from this catalogs option we have built-in furniture models in Dialogs EO of low MB, low poly size and it's quite nice models. But sometimes uh, we need models which may not be available in the Dialogs EO catalogs. Or you want the models to be more realistic. Today we will see how to import 3D models in the Dialogs EO. Before starting it, I want to mention three important points here. The first one is okay you can import the 3d models with the extensions m3d 3ds and sat files okay other than this formats no other format will be imported like obj and all so whenever you're downloading any 3d models make sure it is in these three formats only the second very important point is whatever the 3d model you download it should be of low mb and low poly size Say it should not exceed more than 1 MB. If you are using 3 to 5 3D models, you are importing it in the Dialog Evo, make sure it is not more than 1 MB. Okay, say you are not you're importing only one 3D model. Chances are there that you can go for a high MB 3D model. Okay, but here I'm mentioning it if you are importing only one 3D model or maybe two. This mostly uh why I am saying this is when you import too many 3D models with this of high poly size and high MB size, your dialogs evo starts to hang. Okay, your calculation times increases, it drastically increases. And when you're doing any export, it it takes too much of time. If you have a very good processor, okay, and your computer graphics are very nice, then you can go for high mb 3d models downloading but generally i would suggest you that don't go for 3d models more than 1 mb in this size so let's get started um other thing in this video is that i will share with you three links okay three websites where you can get 3d models absolutely free and those are of really low poly size so friends let's get started the one which I follow from the beginning is the Dialogs Workshop. Okay. I have shared the links in the description box of all the three websites. I'm going to um, download the 3D models here. Once you are on the Dialogs Workshop, here in the 3D models, there's a list for furniture, equipment and appliances, building parts, urban furniture, garden and nature. So in the furniture, we have so many 3d models you can scroll down and you can choose any one which suits your project so suppose i'm doing any you know home office project and then say i want a table office module so you just have to select this one okay just select this one preview of the image appears so you can see the details if you feel this 3d model works for you then just download it you can uh, my file is downloaded I'll just open it once you open this 3d model okay you have your m3d files sat files da and 3ds and all the four formats file size is different so uh, I already said you that dialog supports m3d sat and 3ds formats and here I have all those three formats I'm going to select the one which is less in size so here 3ds file size is less compared to m3d and sat files i'm going to select this one keep it on desktop so that i can import it easily okay so my file is on desktop i'll go back to my dialogs always when you are importing something make sure you keep it in the plan view go to file so go to file import furniture file select the file from your destination folder and open it Make sure you are in side view and just zoom out. Once you zoom out, you can see the file size is too big. We'll go and check in the 3D view also. Zoom out. This is too big. Okay, we can just 
uh, we can decrease the size we can do scaling like this or you can decrease it here in the numerics also 1.7 and say 1.7 this too and 1.5 once you have decreased the size, zoom all and my file is here, 3D model here is here, whereas my room is here. So I'll go to the plan view, zoom all, select this one and drag it to the room. Again zoom out. Now this is my furniture properly placed. Go check it in the side views too. Zoom all. And here you are my office module is placed properly now I'm going to add some textures to it you can replace the material or you can add the texture so let's go and add some color texture to this maybe gray maybe this one apply if you replace it this whole will turn into one color we'll just keep this whole one color and just change the table color So yes, I have finished applying texture to my table and this looks nice. Okay, again. So I have finished applying texture to the office module. You can see this one now. Okay. I, can, I will just move it this side. So this is the one side where you can get the 3D models. Okay. The next, the next side is of high lumen. Here too they are very nice models, 3D models, okay. I have placed the table here, I need some chair, so I'll just go here and select some chair. Uh, see here I have armchair 1 and armchair 2. I have some books, okay, then yeah. I have few chair, lawn chair and a simple chair. So I want something like an office chair, so... I will select this one armchair one or two so let me select the armchair one okay download so in this high lumen website we didn't have any options of 3ds SVT, or m3d files yeah we have only one format that is m3d whereas if you see in the dialogues workshop you have three format files available so this one we have downloaded the file we'll go back to our drawing plan view same way file import furniture file my file is in downloads okay I'm chair one and my chair is properly placed dimensions are correct it is not oversized okay zoom all and you can see here this chair neat textures are not missing okay you can check the textures once again pick material select on this one it does not have reflective coating this is nice you can change the color if you want pick material make it more darker or more lighter so yes So these are the 3D models which are available in High Lumen website. We have some pendant light modules too, some table lamps. So guys this was the second site from where you can get the 3D models for absolutely free and low poly size. Okay the next one is archive 3d uh, 
uh, in this website the file size will not be small okay these are comparatively high poly and high mb file size but it's free okay uh, so generally i prefer this websites where i have to go for very decorative things or maybe a plants okay where i need very nice models so then you can go to this archive 3d so let me select some plants or something here you have the list so we'll see something in the decoration where so we have some vases here but i need some plants so here are the plants so you can see this 3d model it's of 2 mb nice plants so you can just download it okay download so we'll open this file and we'll check what are the formats present formats present are of 3ds gsm and max but we can't use this gsm and max we can use 3ds okay and we have the textures of that one so that's nice we have textures we can directly use this textures only so we'll save this view of 3ds file on the desktop flower we'll just drag and drop close it go back to our dialogs file plan view file import no i don't want to save it so file import furniture file desktop and here i have my 3d model so yes this file too is too big we'll zoom out go to the 3d view zoom out we'll just check the first textures first and see if there is any missing object or anything okay there's nothing missing we'll do one thing we'll add the material here itself create color material choose green color and replace it okay and for sand some mud color okay and we'll just pick this color see this has a reflective coating that's why it has a glossiness though you can't see here like this but once you render it it will have a shining effect so to avoid that one just go to this reflective coating make it zero and then replace the material yes we are done select the object decrease the size maybe this will be 0 0.2 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 zoom all i think i decreased it more so yes now this is correct well, go and place this 3d model here plants if you want you can adjust the scale decrease or increase the length or the width and even the height if you want it more or less okay fine let's go and check our 3d model zoom on and here you can see my plants are properly placed let's look nice We'll add some texture to this wall. I have imported totally three models here, which are all with wherein these two models are less than one MB and this was two MB in file size. So I will just close this file and show you the total overall size of the dialogs okay even after placing the 3d models how much it has increased okay so I'll just close it I will save it on the desktop file save as uh, it's already saved okay I'll just close it so this is my dialogs file let me check the properties and you can see it's only 423 KB overall size after placing three 3D models and this is a good size my file will not hang even when I'm running the calculations and doing the renders 
so this is it guys in this video but in the next video i'm going to show you from where you can download more 3d models so stay tuned to explore dialogues evo with me so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you